Oh, Quebec, what happened to you? Hello everybody, this is Christo Von Hool, and in today's adventure, we are going to be playing Europa Universalis 4. And in this video, we're going to do something a little different. We are going to be doing an AI only battle. And it's also going to be different because if you're looking at the map, you're going to notice that things are not quite as they seem. So let me, let me tell you the scenario that we're doing. It's a little alternate history. So this is the modern day, July 7th, 2017, but something is different. There are modern nations, but out of the blue, the old empires of the past have come back. With these empires ready, let me know who do you think is going to win. So first, we have the Roman Empire. Yes, I know, the borders are a little different but there are other empires that I had to put in as well. So we have the Romans, we have the Spanish and their holdings around the world, we have the Alexandrian Empire, Alexander the Great's Empire, we have the Ottomans, the Persians, the Austro-Hungarian Empire, we also have the British Empire right here right here we also have the Mongol Empire and the Empire of Japan so the ba th those are basically all the empires I've also changed some things the state of Quebec is in they finally got their independence I also put in Siberia just so the Russians don't automatically go after the Mongols I have also put in the state of Tibet as well just so China doesn't go after any of the others and in South America we have the Confederate States because I learned that there are there, after the Civil War, there were Confederate refugees that went to Brazil, and they have a day for that. So we're going to see how they survive and act in, the, in modern day 2017. So let us begin. So the basic premise is we're going to go around, see what everyone's doing, and whatnot. So the clock is running. Let's see, let's look at the empires. Oh wow, they're mobilizing. There's a lot of troops when I scroll in. Let's look at the Spanish Empire. Let's see what they're doing. It looks like they have enemies. I don't know why they're enemies with Indonesia, but there's enemies, the enemies of Brazil and Mexico. Okay. For Rome, it looks like their enemies are Germany, France, and the Ottoman Empire. Okay, that should be an interesting fight. Look at Austria Hungary. Austria Hungary. Austria Hungary? Ruled by the Habsburgs. They're gonna populate their seed all over Europe. They are enemies with Poland and Ukraine. Okay. How about Alex the Ex Alexandrian Empire? That's weird. They're enemies with Nigeria. The Ottomans are at war already with Russia and Georgia. Georgia is at war with Uzbekistan. So I guess they're trying to expand their empire. The Mongol Empire is at war with China. Come on, Mongols. Didn't make you big for nothing. That's what she said! Um, look at the Empire of Japan. They are enemies with the US, the British Empire, and China. Oh gosh, could we see, could we see another Pearl Harbor in this? Let's hope not. 
The state of Tibet. Enemies with Nepal. Oh wow. The British Empire is at war with Sri Lanka. And it looks like they're losing. Look at the Spanish Empire in the Americas. It looks like their war with Guatemala. Let's check on the Confederate States. They've moved to Brazil. It doesn't look like they're at war with anyone except for their enemies with Argentina. Oh, Venezuela. Venezuela was at war with Colombia and Colombia just messed them up. And now they're at war with Brazil. Rome is still not at war. Spanish have peaced out with Venezuela. Venezuela is a former shell of itself. Looks like the Ottomans are still at war with Georgia and Russia. And they are getting pwned right now. Persia took over Uzbekistan. Oh my goodness, the Mongol Empire is getting run over by China. Come on. Come on, Genghis. You can do better than that. Siberia is just sitting there. State of Tibet. Empire of Japan has enemies, but they're not at war yet. I guess they're preparing an invasion of uh, Hawaii. So watch out, America. Oh, it looks like the U.S. has taken land from British Canada. I wonder how the British will respond to that. The Roman Empire is at war now with... Holy f crap. Well, that's not much. Germany, Ukraine, France, and the British Empire. It looks like the Romans are losing. Habsburgs are... Are sending their daughters out to populate Europe. It looks like Prussia was at war and they lost some territory as well. Okay. The Ottoman Empire's war between Russia and Georgia ended. And it looks like Georgia actually got some land. And now they're at war with Ethiopia and Eritrea. How about the Alexandrian Empire is still going strong? Oh, the Persian Empire is at war with Armenia. The state of Tibet is happily independent because the Chinese have set their sights on the Mongol Empire which is a little disappointing because they they are not performing as I expected they are getting wholly raped the Empire of Japan led by Emperor Hirohito Hirohito looking around the map Quebec is still Quebec oh no they're at war now with the US that oh frick here comes the US sending their troops up Quebec Quebec is gonna go away the great powers right now are the US Japan the British Empire is in third I'm surprised the Ottoman Empire is in fifth and the Roman Empire is at 6. So those are the empires to look out for. From the looks of this, France and Germany are, are going ham. Are going ham on, on, on them. The Austro-Hungarian Empire is still sitting, doing its own thing. British Empire is still going strong, but they are at war. Okay, so basically it's the big... Big countries, the British Empire, Germany, and France, ganging up on the Roman Empire. Persia... It, is it me or Persia? Did Persia expand? It looks like they did. I don't see... I don't see Turkmenistan or Tajikistan. Mm, the Mongol Empire is in dire straits against China. See how... We'll see what happens when they peace out. Siberia, oh, now that Russia is not entangled with the war with the Ottomans, it looks like they're going after the land Siberia holds. So maybe Russia will reconquer their land, maybe? 
Okay, Vlad wants his land back. And oh, oh, the Sri Lankan. I forgot about this war. The Sri Lankan British Indian War was won by the British Empire. Who could expect that? Disappointing Sri Lanka. And if you're wondering why I chose these empires and I left some, I know I left some, is because it's hard work putting all the empires together and I have to decide which territories to give to which empire because they still have to be strong. So I just chose these because it made sense. It made sense. I looked at top 10 empires or influential empires and I used I used those as a as a template of which empires to use. But if you want to see more of these empire battles or AI battles or let's plays of Europa, let me know in the comments below. I'd be glad to do some more scenarios. I'm definitely going to be doing more scenarios of what ifs in Europa Universalis 4. Just uh, let me know what you guys think of this uh, first AI battle. I, I, AI only battle. Okay, we are in May 16th, 2023. Let's check what has happened. So it looks like the Roman Empire survived their war against the British Empire, Germany, and France. I was not expecting that to happen. I thought they would, would have lost. Um, the Spanish Empire is still at war with Mexico. Right here. The Austro-Hungarian Empire is surprisingly peaceful. They haven't gone to war or anything yet. It looks like there might be an alliance between Rome and Austro-Hungary. The Ottomans are at war now. Did they? Oh, yep. They did get some of Eritrea in the war they had before. Now they're going after Azerbaijan. What about the Persians? How are the Persians? They're also at war with Azerbaijan. Are they working together? Are they friends? No. No, they're not. I guess they're going after the same area. It's going to be interesting to see a uh, Ottoman versus Persian Empire war. And it looks like Mong the Mongol Empire survived, but they did lose land to China. And it looks like China is at war with Myanmar and Thailand are and are also and also have Mongol separatists. So there's a rebellion going on up there. This is uh, the Persian Empire and the Mongol Empire have the same border color, so they're sort of mixing in with each other. But I'm assuming this thick black line is where the differentiation is. Oh, Siberia won the war against Russia. Good for them. Good for them. Japan is... Oh, guaranteed the independence of the Mongol Empire, so... I'm guessing they're teaming up maybe is 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 am I correct on saying that? I mean I, I haven't played EU4 in all, at all because this is I, I just got the game so I, I don't know. Okay, we're at 2025. Let's see how our empires are doing. Rome looks like Rome expanded. They took a took took all of Algeria and they're at war with Morocco now. Oh gosh, the Spanish Empire, okay, is now at war with Portugal. Looks like they want to unite all of Iberia. How are their holdings in the Americas? Uh, looks like they pieced out. I don't see any significant changes to the Spanish Empire in the Americas. Austro-Hungarian Empire is doing nothing. Jeez. And it looks like the Ottomans and the Alexandrian Empire are at war. And it looks like the Alexandrian Empire is getting their butts handed to them. It looks like. Seems like Alexander took that drink at the party and has died. So they are without a leader. The Persian Empire is at war with Russia and China and Pakistan. They're losing. It looks like they're losing, but 
it also looks like they're winning so we'll see and oh look i found tajikistan they're right here oh and uzbekistan they're right here too persia you gotta wipe out your enemies not not let them live the mongol empire is at peace state of tibet they t oh they took over nepal i did not notice that japan is just happy with what they have and no one is attacking them okay let's go to the americas oh quebec what happened to you the state of quebec has been split apart by british canada it looks like belize is holding strong even though they're surrounded by mexico we'll check 2030 and then we're gonna end at 2035 okay and we're back to seeing what the empires have done so let's see what roman the roman empire has done they are in a lot of wars and finally the austro-hungarian empire is at war but with the roman empire and they're also at war with spain because it looks like the Roman Empire took most of Mor all of Morocco and Spain is not happy about that. So Spain and Austro-Hungarian Empire versus the Roman Empire. Okay. How is Oh gosh, the Alexandrian Empire has been totally taken with just one parcel of land left right there by the Ottomans they are pretty pretty strong and oh my goodness they're also at war with the Romans what the heck Rome Rome is facing off against three countries jeez see the Persians the Persian Empire survived its war with Russia surprising Mongol Empire is still going strong it looks like Tibet got messed up after China focused or refocused itself. Japan still doing their thing. Okay, how is the British Empire doing? Nothing happening in Australia or New Zealand. How about the British Empire in the Americas? Oh wow, America has taken most of the of British Canada looks like they're starting their own empire as well and looks like America has also taken some land from Quebec as well looks like there are rebels in Brazil so surprisingly it looks like I feel like the Ottomans are getting stronger so let's look at the great powers view to see no change that's surprising British Empire is still strong and the Ottomans are still at fifth so this is the world now we're gonna end the battle and see who the actual winners are in this so the first is the Empire of Japan the second is the British Empire and third would be the Ottomans hopefully your guesses were correct hopefully your guesses were correct I was actually rooting for the Romans but they are still in fourth place so they, they still they still got it um, but what we've learned from this video is that in all honesty the US is the mightiest empire of the world. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely going to make more. I'm just trying out this whole AI Battle Europa video style that I've always wanted to do. So, I hope you enjoyed. And we're definitely going to do more, like I said. And yeah, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that I know I that you guys are interested in this and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next adventure christovon who out